welcome to another episode of Ageless Women Cooking. Today is recipe number three in cooking chicken for the busy woman this week. It has been a chicken week. It has, and guess what? This is apron number three. Aren't these just adorable? Look at these, so cute. Sugar baby aprons. One of our scale down clients sent Robin and I these darling aprons to show off on our cooking show. And we will have some information coming up uh, in the weeks ahead of how you could potentially win one. But if you just want to buy one right now, go to the link on the show notes because they are adorable. In fact, my uh, oldest daughter, Jamie, was just in the kitchen between our different uh, takes today telling us she's a wonderful hairstylist. And she said, I'd love to wear those as a hairstylist. So there you go. If you're a hairstylist, you might want one as well. Well, Last episode, we had on the cute little red and black aprons, and we, of course, had to have a little bit of a red tone to our lipstick. So today, remember the tip I gave you? Same color lipstick. This is the Ramblin' Rose by MAC that is just a great color lipstick, really kind of a neutral. You can't see it very well from here, but it just works with almost every skin mm -hmm. tone. So today, since we're wearing pink, we wore a pink lip liner, both of us, and it turned this a little more pink. So if you didn't get that tip last time, one color, different colors of lip liners, it's a great tip. So our third chicken recipe is going to be, again, a very different flavor, and this time we're going with salad, hot summer day, super easy. Now, we want to keep this as time efficient as possible, so we're going to use pre-packaged greens today. You can choose the greens you like most, spinach if you like spinach. You can use arugula, that's one of my favorites. And I like this, this is a sweet and crunchy. It's a combination of green butter lettuce and red butter le lettuce. So that's what I'm gonna choose today. And just pop it into a, a little salad bowl. This is just gonna be enough for my husband and I tonight and for Robin and I to have a taste because quite honestly, we already had lunch today. Um, but this, this is just a nice variety of lettuce. Anything you like. Now, we already did our chicken for the week. So, we did that on Sunday afternoon when you're barbecuing for the family. Remember, we threw it on and we made chicken for the week. Or also remember, if you don't want to use the chicken breast and you want to go a little more economical, you can roast a whole chicken and just pull the pieces of chicken off and throw it in the salad. So easy. Our idea for salad this week is a little bit on the sweet side because we're going to add some fun ingredients. I'm just going to pour the chicken in. Now, some people like to have a lot of greens. Oh, did I leave a piece of chicken? There we go. <laughs> some people like a lot of greens, some like it heavier on the meat. So whatever is your preference. But here's the fun part, I think. Well, this is some chopped up strawberry and red sliced onion. So we're gonna bring a little sweet, a little fruit to it. And we're just gonna toss all of this together shortly. I like, and so does Robin, a little avocado. And I'm just gonna, I already pre-cut this in cubes, so I'm just gonna scoop it out. Fruit can be so yummy in a salad. I do a lot of salads with apples, but in the summer when strawberries are good, great thing. If you like cheese, here's a couple options. A crumbled feta, I have an herb feta. You can also get maybe a crumbled goat cheese. So again, if you like cheese, even a Blue cheese is mm -hmm. really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it adds so much flavor, but not a lot of calories. I'm doing about eh, less than three tablespoons here. And I like a variety of textures. So more crunch is gonna be some almonds. Now these are sliced oven roasted almonds. All they are is almonds and salt. So read your labels and make sure you have, you know, something that is healthy, doesn't have a lot of preservatives in it. As well as almonds, you could use toasted pecans. I really like pecans or walnuts are a great addition to a salad like this. Such a great crunch, a little bit of healthy fat. Now, the dressing that I'm gonna choose to do today, and I know I like to go with a little bit of sweet, that's not Robin's favorite, but I've taken a really high quality olive oil in this little, what do we call this? A little pitcher. It's like a decanter. A decanter. Mm -hmm. So you can see it's a quarter to a third of a cup of olive oil. I'm one of those people, I don't always measure everything exact, but we got this on a trip to Los Olivos, so it's it's locally pressed olive oil, I love that. And then we also got a balsamic vinegar. This one is fig infused. Mm. So you can do, you know, again, go with your quality. And I usually mix about equal parts of oil 
and woo, vinegar. So now I've got what, you know, probably close to a cup. Mm -hmm. And if you want it just a teeny, now, you know what, Robin? You don't like super sweet, but taste that first. And balsamic vinegar has so much flavor. Sorry about the clink. Yeah, a little clink. What do you think? It's good. Mm hmm It's good just like that. I mean, it is. It really is. Now, some, I think the honey will be good. I like to add a little bit of raw honey. And my family likes that sweetness, especially with a little summer salad. So I'm going to just squirt eh, a tablespoon. And if you like a little more salt, you can. Sometimes I put a little Herbs de Provence just for a little more. Garlic is fine. Today, I'm going to keep it really simple. So let's give that a taste and just see what does that do. Mmm. Yeah, you it do really, like it, don't you? See, it, I knew I could. It really it. adds a little. It somehow it makes the tang more tangy. Mm -hmm. mm. So so simple and quick. Now we're gonna. Yum. Okay. Sorry, I'm into it. I'm glad she likes it. Even though we've mm -hmm. had some lunch, we're gonna just have a little taste test of this delicious summer salad. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of dressing on there. Maybe you can toss her up. And of course, salt and pepper always to taste for your preference. We always use sea salt and a little bit of ground pepper and I'm hoping Robin's gonna like this slightly sweet taste but the strawberries I like to get a little bite of everything that out. so the first bite Robin I hope you have a little bit of everything because that's how you get the taste and I'm gonna try to convert you to occasional sweeter dressing <laughs> ready mm. you like it mm-hmm Try not to talk with my mouth full, but I think she's converted me mm. to. It's not. I don't typically like sweet, but this is really good with that balsamic. It makes the tanginess of the vinegar with that little bit of sweet it's so delicious. And the best part, the crunch of the almonds. Mm -hmm. Those little slivers are wonderful. I kind of learned the trick about the honey when I was in Italy. I bought a balsamic. It was incredibly expensive, and I was trying to figure out what is making this so good. And then I found out. Another Italian woman told me that they put honey in their balsamic. Oh my gosh. Well, you can do it yourself, but yeah. it's way cheaper. Enjoy these summer chicken recipes. We have an exciting announcement for you. We have just released our new Ageless Woman Detox program guide and workbook. It is almost 100 pages long. It has all of our recipes. It has all of the guidelines worksheets, everything you need to go through the program. So take a look at the link below and find out all the details to order. Welcome to another recipe. Of <laughs> Welcome to another recipe. Of <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Ageless Woman Cooking. This is episode number three of the Busy Woman Chicken week. <laughs> busy woman chicken week. It's the busy woman chicken week. I'm just thinking how I'm going to start. Hi there. Was you ready? Was you, was you ready? Was you, was you ready? I was ready. Was you ready? Was you ready? Okay.